Okay, so in yesterday's tutorial, we took a look at how we could get the uh, stats data for uh, one of our short URLs in our stats application. Uh, and we left it a little bit like this, uh, where we're getting the data out, but just logging it out to the console. Uh, but you can see there's nothing actually appearing on the page. So in today's tutorial, we're just going to get a little bit of markup on there, uh, just to get us ready for actually taking this stats data to display to the user. Uh, but it would be nice if we could reuse the same styling from the web application that we've already previously set up uh, and what I mean by that is just to reuse the entire style sheet so if we do make any changes to one application uh, it can be reflected in the other one as well so currently the way our projects are set up we can't do that because the styles are actually uh, embedded into the uh, web front end application but we can move them to a shared library and then share them across the two uh, applications uh, so we can achieve that uh, ability to reuse that code so let's do that now uh, what we'll do is first of all is in the uh, Rick and Roll web application, we'll just go ahead and grab the style file. And what I'm actually going to do is just completely cut this out uh, of the application. And we could set up a separate library for this, but we've already got the common definitions library set up, if you remember, that shares the allowed URLs between the applications, the API and the front end. So we could just put this in here for now, rather than setting up a, a new library. Uh, maybe we should have renamed common definitions or something else, but that's fine. Uh, we can put that in here. Okay, so inside of the lib folder, I'm just going to paste that style sheet back into there. And that will make it available to be imported into both of the applications. We do need to reference it with an absolute URL or a relative URL to where the uh, application lives. Uh, but that's fine. We'll do that in just a second. Uh, but if we just save that as it is, and if we go over to uh, the front end application, for example, which is actually using it, you can see we're getting this error in the application uh, to say that the star sheet can't be found anymore. And that's because we've just completely removed it. Uh, but luckily, we can actually get that uh, back and working fairly simply. If we just go back on over uh, to the web application, uh, where we actually deleted uh, the star sheet before in the source directory, if we just create a new one, and um, we can just say it's uh, styles.scss, we can then just import the star sheet that we've moved into the common definitions file, uh, just to regain all of the uh, styles that we had previously. So here, just using uh, some of Visual Studio Code's helpers, uh, we can just go into that common definitions uh, project, uh, go into the lib, and then there is the styles.scss file. So if we save that, the application should rebuild. And if we go back, uh, now we've got the application up and running again, and it's using that style sheet from the common definitions file. So that's all good, but how do we get it working in the stats file? Uh, well, first of all, let's actually go in and put some markup in there. Uh, so for the moment, I'm just going to copy or steal what we've got in the markup for the uh, web application. So this is the one that we've just uh, got where we're creating the short URLs. And go back into the stats project, go into the index page there, and just pop in that markup into here. So if you go back over to the web app and just uh, load that for stats, uh, you can see there's the markup, but obviously it doesn't look great So because it hasn't got the styling in there. So let's import the star sheet into this SCSS file as well. Uh, so we'll say import, and then again, just using Visual Studio Code to help us to find the right place. Uh, we're going to libs, common definitions, and then inside of there, source, lib, and then styles.scss. So if we go and take a look at the application, we'll see it's kind of imported that, but there is a bit of a problem. It's given us an error uh, and it's all down to the actual image. Uh, I think it does say down here, yeah. So it's basically saying that you can't resolve uh, this particular image file because that only exists in the web application that generates the short URLs. So I did play around with this a little bit and see if you could put the asset inside of the common definitions library as well. Um, but because of the way the pathing works and it's trying to look for the image inside of the project that you're in, it just seems easier to actually copy that image from uh, the other web application into uh, the stats application, just so that there's a, a local copy of it. So there's our picture of Rick. So we'll do that now. We'll go over into assets and paste that uh, Rick Astley uh, picture into there. And what we should find now is that the error goes away in uh, our application. Let's just close that down. And now we've got pretty much an exact copy of the web application, uh, but inside of the stats uh, folder. 
So as mentioned, the whole reason for doing this and the benefit of it is that we've got one style sheet that controls the two apps. So if we make a change to the text color, for example, or something to do with padding uh, or something like that, uh, then everything will change in both the front end application to generate short URLs, but also in the stats application too. So there you go, we've got our shared style sheets set up. In the next video, what we'll start to do is to take the data uh, that we're getting via our API request and actually populate that onto the stats page uh, to give the user some information about who has actually accessed uh, this particular short URL. Uh, but that's it for this tutorial. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.